This is the Integrated Math 1 practice test for T Captain Ready, question number 29. It's one of those really long ones, so I had to, you know, kind of zoom in a whole bunch on this one. We're in subpart 3. You don't really need that here, though. Like, hopefully not. Uh, rectangle A, B, C, D is shown, and it gives us some uh, information about that rectangle. Which value best completes each statement? Now, to me, I'm going to go ahead and start looking at what can I fill in. That way I don't have to think later, because anybody that knows me knows uh, thinking is not my strong point. So a rectangle, the opposite sides are congruent, so I know that this here is this uh, side here is 24. I know that this side is 18. Now the thing about a uh, the diagonal intersection, they don't create right angles. That's only if it's a square. I mean in terms of in the only time a rectangle can do it if it's a square. Um, and these angles aren't congruent and like this angle is not congruent to this, that sort of thing. But what I do know about that diagonals is because of the nature of a rectangle, the pieces of the diagonal are actually congruent. So what does that mean? It means that if this is AE is 15, so is EC, so that's 15. And BE would also be 15, and ED is 15 as well. So now I'm ready to start answering some questions. The measure of side CD right here is what? Well, I figured that out because I went ahead and wrote that down. Filling out this information makes everything easier later because you don't have to keep going back to, okay, well, this is this and this is this. The measure of diagonal BD is so many centimeters. Well, B to D goes all the way down through here. Two 15s added together gives me 30 centimeters. At least they're nice enough to keep the units the same and they didn't make this into, you know, meters and you had to adjust. The perimeter of triangle CDE Originally, when I looked at this, I tried to do the perimeter of the whole thing, and it didn't make any sense, and I had to go back and look, and like, oops, made a mistake. That's okay, you're allowed to make mistakes as long as you kind of figure out why you, what happened. So I want to know what the perimeter of C, D, E is. So I have 15 and 15, which gives me 30. Ugh. Green's fine to outline with, but it's not fun to write anything else with, especially with this background. And then plus the 18. That'll give me 48 centimeters. So the answer to number three is B. So really with this style question, if you go ahead and write out some information that you know about the shape, then everything else becomes easier. But if you don't prep that out, it may cost you a few seconds or whatever. It's timed, so it might be a thing that you have to deal with, and it might not be. Just choose your own adventure on how you do it. But there's one way to have it nice and organized and uh, easy to find the answers.